So you're presumably here watching this video because you're in exactly the same position that I was in where you're trying to create an image carousel on Shopify and you just can't seem to do it. You can create a related products carousel, a feature collection, featured products. You can create those as carousels, but when it comes to adding images along, which are not products or collections, you end up with just being able to use the multi-column feature where it would go across and then stack like it would wrap around so if you wanted images it just takes up loads of the real estate space on the screen so this is what we're gonna create let's move my face out of the way today so this sliding carousel I'll just show you again so yeah works with horizontal scrolling works great on iphone mobile tablet whatever um, essentially what we're going to do to create this is get the existing multi-column section which you can pull for into the product builder and then duplicate that in the code and then manipulate that code or edit it and then apply the carousel slider function so i spent quite a lot of time doing this 29 or 30 i think it's actually like 35 step guide on how to create this image carousel which is as a blog post and i'll put the link in the description and then the little square window at the end of this video i'll try and work out how to add that in so you can just click that to get access to this if i just quickly whiz through to show you we'll go through each step in this video but for example step one i've really put in detail well really described don't know what words I'm looking for. Exactly what to do. And then with the screenshots marked up one, two, three, four. Yeah, and as I say, it's literally follow it step by step. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get stuck in. So when you go into your Shopify dashboard, uh, actually, you'll see the home section. Let's go to online store, themes, and go a little bit lower. And then in here, we go next to customize, edit code. Make this window a little bit smaller, hold on. Right, edit code. That's great, let's make that a bit smaller. Basically, yeah, what we want to do is copy a section, duplicate it, which is the uh, multi-column one, and then also the assets, which is the CSS file for that. So open, I'm going to open up the drop-down of sections. Do the same for assets. So if at any point I get stuck, because I can't remember off the top of my head, I'm going to follow the step-by-step -step guide. But for now, I'll go to the sections, which is multi-column.liquid. I won't do that. I'll open I'll open that anyway, because we need that. I go to add a new section. And then in here, the file name is image. Dot, sorry, image carousel.liquid. So you leave it as the liquid file, and then, yeah, ignore the JSON bit. So you're creating a new blank section. All we do first is just take out that schema code there. And take from, so Command A or Control on Windows, you probably know that already, select all. Copy this, again, using Command C or the cursor or the mouse if you'd rather do that, and paste it in there. So that duplicates the multi-column liquid section and it's obviously image carousel. Just make sure you do the standard save as you go because we are editing a lot of code um, it might help with bugs and stuff um, if you come across them with any typos or whatever and then in the assets bit add a new asset create a blank file and the file name is a little bit different just want to make sure I've got the exact same word I think I just put sex so it's we've done that bit so liquid done the assets bit here we go so the name of the CSS file which we're gonna create is section hyphen image carousel Let's just whack that in there boom right so yeah leave that as it is CSS dot CSS create that beautiful and then because we created that we then need to go to the existing one which I think is called section multi column multi column multi-column CSS let's have a look so we're in let's just make sure we're under assets and then section section 
multi-column.css again, do the same thing, copy all that, and just whack it in there, just make sure we go save again. Okay, great. Then what we do is go back to the, so the, go, go to the image carousel liquid file, and then we duplicate this top row. So we just copy, create a new line by hitting enter, and hit shift, and then what we do is just change here where it says multi-column.css because that's obviously reading uh, this previous file. We're going to change this because so it links up to image carousel. Just make sure it's typed right. No typos. You can just copy and paste it. Hit save. That's the first step done. And now, so we're going to scroll down because we've done these bits. All right, we've done that bit. And then we go to, so step 12 is copy and paste this CSS code. So you can just click this button when you get to my website. And this, you basically paste this just in here. Ignore that snazzy sound. So that sound is just when I copy and paste using a, uh, a one of the apps, it's called Paste. Um, and it allows you to like copy to your clipboard and then go back in history. So that's all that noise is. So we've done that, pasted it on there. Step 13 is add so this, so just copy this because this is the code that we're adding, not the wording. In the div with class multi-column color. And that's the first div. I'm just saying it's the first div which appears in this file. And it should be added before multi-column color, the wording. But don't replace it. So you add it like just at the start of here. So we're going to find that div class first. So you can scroll through. What I'll do in this video is do the Command F or Control F just to do the Find tool. So like I said, you want to mark the cursor there, and then so rather than like replacing it, you want to just paste that in like that, and then leave a space, save. Great, that's done. What's the next bit? Then we go to the UL tag. So the first one that appears just below this slider mobile gutter component class, and add in slider everywhere into the class. Again, before multi-column color, but don't replace it. So let's just find that UL tag. There we go, it's the first one that appears. And then we add it in there. Let's hit save. Perfecto. And then we go to, now there's basically four bits of code that we replace with the word image carousel. And this is uh, when you go to your product screen and your product page in the back end to build it, rather than it saying uh, multi-column, there'll be two of those. So you don't want it to be saying the same thing. You want it to be called image carousel. Just so when you're dragging it onto the canvas, if you like, you know what you're pulling onto the screen. <clears throat> so let's just see what we'll do. Excuse me, if I can talk is we'll copy this because it's easier to find that using the search tool. So, right, there we go. We found it. So let's just make sure in my screenshots the same. Yep, so presets is the word above. So you need to take this, take all that out. So I'm just gonna highlight it and we write image carousel in with a space. I mean, you can write whatever you like, but we just, We'll just make it all format. And then the next one is this label here. And then we're looking for this. So if you just look in the screenshot, so this line here, we're gonna replace that for image carousel. Save, so that's that one done. And then also there's two, so schema name class. Take off this. Make sure I'm selecting the right bit. Yep, select that. And then write image carousel into there. Again, hit save. And then replace code, which is a little bit further down. So there's two lines here. So there's two bits we need to change. There's default and then label. So see this here. So multi column to image carousel. That into there, 
save, bang, that's done. And then there's a view more button on the multi-column feature. We're just gonna remove that. So this is, this is this part. This is the code you need to remove. So let's just take a bit. Settings, just so we can find it nice and quickly. So it's a whole div section. Don't think that's the one though. No, 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 this is all the bit we added in. It's not that. Probably watching this thing, there's definitely a quick way to do this. But we're in no rush. Or you might be, but you can fast forward. Right, so. So let's just go to this. So step 21, we remove this whole div section, which is the view more button. So we go div class, take that out. Fantastic. Again, remove all that highlighted code. So let's just save that quickly. And then we'll go to look for div class, multi-column card info. So I'm just gonna just select that in the find tool. in so div class here we go multi-column card info found that then the if block setting so three of those down you'll see this code to remove so if you go from here one if block settings two if block settings three down okay so that's where we are and then we remove all of that to the end if so from here to here we remove back that's out of there and then what we do is just basically paste this code in from the website so that same section paste that in don't worry about the formatting it will still work just fine let's get that go to the div class slider buttons and replace the code and replace code medium hide with this code so we're going to find this div class first right there and then we replace medium hide. So it's just highlight that now. And then we replace it with this code. So let's take that. I'll do that again just in case we're changing tabs. Don't know if that affects it, but it does. Leave it in the comments and all that. Shazam. Right, save that. And now we go back to the image carousel CSS file, which is image carousel CSS. Yep, we've got there. Scroll to the bottom, basically, just whack that in there, paste, save, done. Okay, and now we go again back to the image liquid file, which we were just in, so image carousel liquid. Right, and then, so this is a little bit tricky to find this bit, so find blocks. Let's just take that first. Let's just take the word blocks. It appears a number of times, but there is a specific one that we want. So we want the one where the word blocks, number 36 appears a few lines above that. So what we're gonna do is the curly brace after that, add a comma, add a new line, and then paste this in. done yeah that's it we're done so we've, we've created it now all we do is these steps are really easy exit which is saved and then you go in via customize you're probably already familiar with this because otherwise you wouldn't have found the video onto your products um, template default products there's some snazzy trainers in here i've already added so all you do is add the section in add your section in here and you'll see image carousel liquid appear at the bottom. So I've just dropped it in here because I've already set it up obviously for the purpose of the video. You can add as many rows as you like going across the page. Um, it does come um, pre with these uh, arrows on it as well. Let's just get this out of the way. You can take those off. You can adjust all the settings down here. I mean, obviously I'm not gonna style it all in the video, but you can change the colors, um, swipe functionality, everything like that. The you can have squares, portrait images, 
add a heading if you like. So you could put like, um, what are you gonna say? Like different work your style. <laughs> Something like that. I'm, I'm joking. You can put a title, a description underneath, and that's it. So yeah, you can you can change your your color of your arrows. Like that doesn't work, but if you wanted blue, and they, you can click through it, whatever you like. That's it. So obviously these images are going to be the same on every product on the site. So unless you've got a recurring theme between your products so you might have 150 products but it's probably unlikely that you're going to want the same images on each um, product so i've actually created another blog post and i'm going to create a video which i'll again link in the description when it's created so you might watch this video it already has been um so let's just go back to the blog so this is how to add product specific using dynamic content to those images. So the images are relevant to that that image, that product. So you, you set this up once and then you can change it via meta fields in the product section. So you can either follow this step by step guide. Again, like I say, link in the description. I will create a video on this coming up. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you found that helpful. And yeah, new channel, so I'm trying to create as many videos as possible, staying consistent. So if you like it, just subscribe, just do it. I mean, it helps me, doesn't it? So if you do like it, it keeps me and it'll help me, it will help me to be consistent knowing that you're out there watching.